Good afternoon. This is Dorothy Simon sitting in for Jim Lakey over at Cable Channel 3. Uh, you can also get us on the web at sandylandcenter.org or you can visit us at the south side of the square any morning from 9 until 12. And today is Wednesday, August the 13th. And we have been spared of the brunt of the bad weather that's been going um, all over Stafford County uh, and over the greater Midwest. There's a high pressure system that's dominating much of the area that's been bringing in some cooler, drier, and a much more pleasant um, temperatures. The high temperatures will be in the 70s to the 80s. And we still have a pattern of scattered thunderstorms. They're possible in the western plains during this afternoon and in the evening. And we could get some stronger thunderstorms. Uh, they are possible and they may bring um, severe wind gusts and clouds and that could also cause some damage and maybe some hail and isolated tornado is also possible but right now in the square it is a very very pleasant 72 degrees um, it is sunny and it is bright in winds south southeasterly and just a very pleasant humidity at 66 percent over the next six hours or so, it will be mostly sunny with temperatures rising to a high of low 80s, 80, 81, 82 in there. Tonight, we could see the temperatures go back down to the 60s with isolated thunderstorms and a 30% chance of rain. And that will climb the humidity back up to about 79%. But right now it is very very pleasant so come out and walk if you want to it's really beautiful um, tomorrow Thursday we could see a 30% chance of rain 75% humidity and there will be some clouds and also isolated thunderstorms in the afternoon the highs again will be in the 80s uh, winds south southeasterly 10 to 15 miles per hour and nighttime temperatures at 6 to 3 and the humidity may be raising up to about 80%. Friday the pattern is very similar to the, these last couple of days. Highs at 80 degrees, lows in the evening at nighttime at 6 to 3 in the mid 60s and the um, humidity at 74. In our community, we want to wish Debbie Pound a happy birthday. Uh, that yesterday was Debbie's birthday. And Marlene Waddle um, on the 15th is Marlene's birthday. So wish, wish them a happy birthday. And today is Leon and Judy Shelton anniversary. So if you see those people, give them a big smile and good wishes. Um, our water nitrate removal plant is in operation and uh, now the nitrate levels uh, they're testing at 7.8 parts per million it's been reported and um, that is well below the recommended levels of 10 parts per million and better news than that still the whole operation came in under budget and uh, it has been reported that it came in at five hundred thousand dollars below the budget of three point one million i'm sure the the finance people at the city are happy over that so enjoy the good taste in water and the healthy water that these services bring for the whole community and over the second chance uh thrift store all of this week they're having um, a basket sale on all clothing except jeans and you can come in and get your basket full, as full as you can make them, and the cost will be only $4. So please support the thrift store uh, with a basket sale. 
and on the 17th um, there will be an afternoon in the square starting at 3 p.m. with bike games and for children and adults and at 4 p.m. there will be musical entertainment with bands and solo or artists and bluegrass music and at 5 p.m. there will be supper and all this is being hosted by the Eden Valley Church and um, they will accept your donations and this the donations are going for a worthy cause because the donations will be used to support a mission trip to Guatemala. So do mark your calendars for the 17th starting from 3 p.m. in the square, afternoon in the square, hosted by the Eden Valley Church. Come out and support a, a good cause. And our menus for this week, uh, over at the Maxwell Center today, they're serving um, porcupine meatballs, Romanoff potatoes, broccoli and cauliflower salad, very healthy, cinnamon roll, and tomorrow it will be barbecue beef, potato salad, and a creamy coleslaw. And Thursday, um, they'll be serving pork roast with gravy, sweet potatoes, Italian vegetables, and a frosted lime gelatin salad. Sounds very tasty. And over at the Sunflower Center, today they're serving a Hawaiian chicken with rice and broccoli, seasoned carrots, frozen cherry salad, mandarin or orange cake, and um, milk and coffee as usual. Tomorrow they'll be serving a honey glazed pit ham, parsley, buttered potato, cauliflower and cheese sauce, sliced tomatoes and cucumber salad, peach crisp with a topping and a hot roll and milk and coffee. All very appetizing, so do call over there if you are in need of um, food services. Or better still come out and enjoy the meals at the centers. And our thought for the day, nearly everyone can stand, can stand ad adversity, but if you want to test someone's character, give them power. Nearly everyone can stand adversity, but if you want to test his character, give him power. Thought for the day.